Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Wake up. You're sleeping like you're at the fucking hotel or something. After your father and sent his fucking goons to come attack me, you're just all fucking comfortable sleep. Do you remember I was up all night with you? Do you remember there was blood everywhere? Of course I remember. How's your eye? It hurts. Everything hurts. Oh, it, looks, it looks better. Oh, does it? Yeah. Great. Listen. I was dreaming all night about it. I... What were you dreaming? I would do anything to protect you. Wait, wait, well, no, no, what? What no, I'm not Mason. doing this, Mason. not right now. Mason. What? Can you calm down? I am calm, but how can you even think about sex right now? I, I'm just trying to make sure you're feeling okay. I, I want you to feel better. That's not going to make me feel okay. I don't even, oh, uh, just listen. It looks, it looks better. It looks better. Yeah, this is going to look better too. Move. you feel if Brittany or Terry just showed up at your door unannounced? They have. And their family. Yeah, keyword family. I just met this boy. And now you want to show up here and sleep on my fucking couch. Well, how about you go downstairs and ask him why he's here? Yeah, I'm asking him when the hell he's leaving. Well, look, before you get downstairs, sing a deep breath, please. Yeah, whatever. What you what? Hold me? He didn't hold me all night long. All night long you slept with your face facing the other way. No. No? Listen, I think what we all what we both needed is more rest. More rest? Come on, just come upstairs. Let me hold you. Let me. I'm sorry. Relax, relax, we'll figure everything out. But just, just give me a chance. Give you a chance? Give me a chance. I'm out of chances and options. Listen, I just want you to relax. How can I relax at a time like this? Come on. Let's just go. We'll stay think on about it later. We'll think about it later. Come on. Fine, just stay on your side of the bed and stop touching my butt.
Good morning. Good morning. This is a really nice place you got here, bro. Thank you. Look, I hope you don't mind me eating the bowl of the cereal. I was just hungry. I don't give a damn about the cereal. What are you doing here? Damn. I mean, you sure do not make a person feel welcome around here. Well, you tell me. How should I feel? I mean, we are brothers. I thought you'd be happy to see me. But from the looks of it, I guess not. Jerome, we just met. I do not know you. But that's why I'm here. So we can get to know each other. As brothers. I mean, all my life I thought about how it would be to have you around. And now that I finally get a chance to experience it, you just shut me out. So you want to experience it by showing up at my door, uninvited and unannounced? I had no place else to go. What do you mean? You have a home? Yeah, about that. Mom actually gave me an ultimatum right before you showed up. Either I get a job or I move out. And there's no opportunities for me back home, so I came down here hoping that you could actually help me for one. So she was alright with you just come here? I mean, I'm here, so I guess so. She's your mother too, right? Just like, I don't know her? I don't know you. And you come in here to find yourself? I can't help you with that. That's not what I did. So, what I suggested, you go back home. If you need it, I can get you a ticket. Damn, so it's like that? Some brother you are. I guess Mr. Big Shot Davenport ain't got time for me, huh? Look, I don't do handouts, so just take it while it's on the table. And it's not like I'm asking for one. I came here for, looking for some support from you, my older brother. You can't call your father? I don't know where that deadbeat is. He left us when I was a kid. So it's always just been mom and I. Okay, look, I sympathize with all that, but I can't help it. I was coming here hoping that you could help me turn my life around. But obviously, it looked like you don't care. Sincere with you. I'm trying to get you to help me as 
says, being married to one bitch taught me a whole lot. I'm sure. And I'm not about to put up with another one. No, I don't blame That's you. That's it. I don't blame you. Listen, we both married cold and calculated people. Fallon is exactly like her father. And I'm done with that. And I want what's old to me. I want what's old to me too, Tess. And not just by Fallon. It's a couple of minions that need some address as well. All right, all right, listen. Nobody knows your intent. So why don't you just like, you know, relax and just keep it down low and just like focus. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. We were focusing on here. I'm just tired. I want revenge. This bitch owes me. <laughs> I want revenge too. So what are we going to do? We're going to work it out. We're going to plan. Then we're going to make sure it gets executed. In the meantime, I'm going to drink to the fall of Fallon. Don't fuck with me, Tess. I'll make it like a nightmare, baby. Like, don't you worry, honey. Oh, Fuck Fallon. Fuck Fallon. Now you're talking. Let me get dressed. I'll be back. That's a good idea, honey. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting your own ticket and he's going home. I can find my own way. But you just got here. Let's get ready. Stay out of it. He'll be fine. No, I won't. My life back home is like one endless road that leads to nothing. I came in hoping my brother could help me out, you know, with getting direction in my life, but obviously he don't care. I know you mean well, but you can't just pop up at people's house unexpected. Look, it's cool. Can somebody take me to the train station? I'll find somewhere else to go. What do you mean find somewhere? Just go home. Maybe I'll go to New York. You know, find an opportunity there. You can't go nowhere just unexpected with no plan. Look, I need a new start. And obviously he's not trying to give it to me. Do you even know anyone in New York? I got one friend. Maybe he can help me find a job cutting hair. Cutting hair? You a barber? Yup. Just recently got my license. I own a salon. A salon? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's called the beauty bar, and we're looking for barbers. Uh, Brandon! Ooh, what? We are looking for barbers. We're looking for barbers, and you can come in, come in and, and I can see how you are. He is not staying in my house. He can stay with me. No, he cannot! Wait, aren't you guys roommates? Brandon is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? You're gay? Yes, I am. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, nah, no problem at all. So, do you look at us differently? I mean, not really. Being gay isn't a big deal. I just didn't expect my brother to be gay. No offense. None take it. You're not do doing this. Obviously. I hope. Look, I don't want to intrude. You're not intruding. And besides, I'm barely there. Uh, you're not doing this. That's your brother. You don't want to see him out on the street? I don't. But he's not staying with you. Look, you guys don't need to argue about this. I know why I'm not wanted. Fine. You can stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, listen. Don't get excited. It's only temporary. I got a guest from upstairs. You can take your stuff up there and clean up my living room when you get finished. Cool. Thanks, bro. No. Thank you. Thanks, Brandon. No problem. Thanks for making me look like the bad guy. Well, I, I don't think you look like the bad guy. But I'm 
glad you didn't kick him out. Why the sudden change of heart? Really? The death stare you were just giving me? Me? Give you a death stare? Yeah, but we're going to talk about that later. Listen, I don't know him. And if he's going to be here, I need to be able to keep my eye on him. So, that's why. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Yeah. All right? For his sake. Ooh. And yours. It better be. I'm gonna go help him make sure he's comfortable, okay? He's fine. <laughs> he's nice. Here we go. I heard you. I'm just glad that we're here. Just hanging out. It's nice to see all these pictures we have together on his phone. Are you kidding me right now? Like, my eye is in fucking pain. All you wanna do is look at pictures of us on the phone? No, I'm just. I'm just trying to make light of the situation. There's no light in this situation right now, Jesus. Does my eye look light? God, man. Listen, I, I've been doing serious thinking about this, and I can't let you get hurt like this anymore. So then why don't you do something about it? For one, stop talking and just do. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm trying to figure this out for us. Well, you're doing a very bad job right now, Jesus. I don't need you to rub this in my face. I'm not rubbing Listen, it in your face, but I have to I look won't. in my mirror. Look, I have to look in the mirror and see his face. I don't even want to come out the house. I, I know, I, I know, I understand. I, I'm tired of this happening, too. I, I, want, I want to make this right. I don't want this to keep happening. You think the last thing I want to see you is just to get hurt, Mason? I... Your father has to get it. There's no way around this. Too much pressure. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What are you thinking? You keep saying you're thinking. I need you to start doing. All right, well, you you keep getting in the middle of this too. It's not How am I getting in the middle? All right, listen, listen. Just, I told you, just let me deal with this. I can't even be here right now. I just then why are you here? here? I wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm okay, just, just go home. I'll be fine. Mason. Jesus, I want to be with you. But I don't want to be with you underneath these conditions, man. I don't. I can't keep doing this. You can thank your father. I think you should go. Listen, I will come back and we'll keep talking about this. I just, I'm just trying to keep it low key right now. I don't want to, listen, listen, I want to be with you. I, Sorry, I just, just give me a while. I gotta figure this out. But whatever, man, whatever. Stay. Just don't talk, just just go, please. I'm sorry. Will I'm you answer phone. my phone call? Don't I always answer your phone calls? Wait, wait. Wait. Lock the bottom lock okay. behind you. I'll be fine. Just lock the bottom lock. Jabril! Jabril! What's wrong with your eye? I'm in. No, you're like, come in. What's wrong with your eye? Come, come over here. Mason. Glad you stopped. For a second, I thought you were going to keep walking. Are you following me? <laughs> no. Sorry. No, I was actually on my way to work. I saw you walking across the street. What's your sign? No sign. I don't have any desire to talk. So, let this be our last conversation. You go your way, and I'll go my way. It works. I can't let you walk away. What is it? Okay, I just want to apologize. I mean, for what happened on today. It really wasn't in my right mind. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken my aggression. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, 
sure. Got now? Oh, no. One more. Go ahead. It's such a damn shame that things gotta be like this. I mean, we wanna run into each other again. Can we at least be cordial? Yeah. That's too much to ask for. That's fine. But don't act like speaking to me is gonna fucking hurt you. Because at one point in time, you be a care about me. Derek. That feels like that don't just go away. You're right there. Okay? You apologize. I accept it. We're done. No. I'm still talking. Much about nothing. But I know he does, but I can keep him so random. Do me a favor. Keep his name out of your mouth. To get out of I'm just telling you now. It's the truth. I understand. Derek, you sound really pathetic. Now get out of my way. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know I'm really beginning to think you're crazy. You know it's the truth. I know it's the one. Derek, last time, come at me again with some bullshit and it's going to be a problem. Do you understand? Yeah. All right, bye. Tried to, I guess, call themselves trying to shoot me, or, or I don't know what they were trying to do, but it was a scuffle. I ended up getting pistol whipped. It was like six of them. Victor, Mason, we're not giving Victor no more fucking money. It's not about no money. I wish it was that simple. Then what is it then? It's about Jesus. Jesus, your boyfriend. Jesus, Victor. Sorry. And before you go off, you have to be I right. did not know that Jesus and Vic, I did not know it was his father. Bullshit. I didn't know. Bullshit. You Brenda, had to have known and it didn't tell me. Brenda, why would I hide that from you? Why is Victor's goons beating you up? So, to make an incredibly long story short, I'm the first person that Jesus ever messed with. And Victor's not approving of Jesus being gay. And he doesn't want Jesus dealing with men, and let alone me. And that's what I had to tell you other day in this line when I said I didn't want to talk to you at that moment. Like, it's been a lot going on since you're never around. You need to leave Jesus alone. It's not that easy. You getting beat up, it is. Uh, no, it's not. I love him. That's like me telling you to leave Jabril alone. Do you hear yourself? And that's totally different, you know it. How is it different? Mason, come on. Like, you need to hear yourself think. His people are beating you up and the only thing you're worried about is Jesus and rescuing him? I don't know what else to do. One. You need to leave Jesus alone. I'm not leaving him alone, so stop saying it. Mason. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I love him. But what's going to happen? Victor has to die. I, look. Victor is going to get dealt with. But you can't do nothing. We have to put our heads together. Victor is very unpredictable. Wait. Jesus just texted me. Okay. What are you saying? I have to go. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, where are you going? I, I have to go see him. Go see him for what, Mason? Did I question you when you chose to you still go see your room? Room? Mason, you're getting beat up. Come on now. I didn't get beat up. My eye was healed. All in all, Mason, somebody put their hands on you to harm you. Come on now, you can't go out here like this. Like, we have to think smarter. Brandon? If I hear that fucking hyena, Kiko, your best friend, 
utter any word of this, me and you are going to have a problem. Well, she's calling my phone, blowing me up, so let me go. Let me go to the shop and deal with her, and let me come right back. You stay here, okay? I'm not being confined in my fucking house. What are, are you kidding me? Confined? You're not being confined. Just stay here and let's think about it when I come back. What is it to think about, Brandon? Is, is, do you see my eye? Yes. So that's why we have to think about it. Come on, we have to put our heads together. We can't just go and just do anything. You know how Victor is. If you tell Kiko or Jabril anything, I won't tell them you stay in this house. Please, just for an hour. <sighs> Give me an hour. You have one hour. Dang. Matter of fact, 59 minutes. I'm coming right back. Yo, put a hot rag on the eye, please. Oh, you just making fun of my eye? Joke's on fucking Mason, huh? It's your lucky day, Jesus. You're coming with me. I'm not going anywhere with you. You are coming with me. We're going to Jersey to conduct a little business. Some asshole owes us some money, and I'm going to show you how we handle that. Oh, I know exactly how you handle your business. You fucking psychopath. You left me no choice, Jesus. No choice? Who even are you anymore? You're my father. I warned you. You know how I do things. You let me no choice. Oh, I know very well. I love to look into his eyes and see his face all fucked up. How do you have the heart to do that? I'm not going to allow you to fuck around and do this fag thing. You soulless bastard, you won't get it. We're leaving in 10 minutes. And if I don't, what, you're gonna do the same thing to me? Don't test me. Do you want Mason's blood on your hands again? 10 minutes. I made it, Jesus. And put something professional on. Jabril, you got a minute? Yeah, what's up? I need to talk to you about your assistant, Raven, and I need you to fire her ass today. Fire? What the hell did she do? Remember when I told you that I caught her flirting with Clayton? Yeah, I remember. She kissed him. What? How do you even know that? Because she conveniently decided to tell me when I stopped past your office the other day. What? That doesn't even make any sense. What part? Why would she just come up to you and let you know that out of the blue? Because what I had to, to check the hoe. She thought she was going down to his office with some welcoming committee. She's a bold bitch. I told her to stay away from him. And what does Clayton have to say about this? He told me that she kissed him when he walked her to her apartment door. <laughs> what was he doing at her apartment? Jamiro, he was at Indigo with his friends. He saw a raven. She was intoxicated. Him. Being a gentleman that he is, made sure she got home safely. Okay, I'll bet. What is that supposed to mean? <sighs> it's nothing on you. I'm just having quite the start to this morning, and here you go with some more stories. Okay, I'm sorry you're having an awful morning, but when can I expect her exit papers on my desk? Um, I'm not firing Raven because they kissed. She kissed her. They kissed. Whatever. And anyway, it happened off company hours. I cannot do anything about that. Are you serious? Yes. I mean, if you like, I'll have a talk with her. But unless Raven did something to jeopardize the integrity of her job or this company, my hands are tied. I cannot fire her just because you say so. What is your loyalty lie? <sighs> I'm not going to even dignify that with a response, especially with Rob still slithering around this office. So you need to ask Clayton that question. Whose side are you on anyway, Jabril? 
hey, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on just like you are. And given your track record with men, you know how this goes. He is not Clint. <clears throat> He is nothing like any other man I've ever dealt with. And he's proven himself to me over and over again. Like I said, I'll have a talk with her, but I'm not firing Reba. I don't even know why I came in here. I thought we were a team, but I guess not. Speaking of team, I closed that Annapolis deal. I guess I was a little too busy to realize we were even expanding into the Chesapeake area. When did this deal come about? Uh, all of that happened way before you got here, Jabril. That was going on before you got here. Okay, I mean, it's kind of weird because I spoke to the developer and he was under the assumption that this was a rush job. He didn't even know who I was. Maybe he was confused. This was all taking place two years ago. There was a similar property on the table that matched another property that we had. We just left the deal on the table. It wasn't a good time. Uh, oh, okay, I guess that explains it. But you don't have to worry about it. I got it all under control. And you know what? Dad probably will be proud of me. I closed the first major deal we've had in a long time. Yes, I'm sure he will be proud of you. I have to make a conference call. I'll talk to you later. Wonder what else you're hiding from. Hello, you must be Clayton. Jabril Davenport, nice to finally meet you. Yes, Jabril Anderson. That's good. Um, how are you settling in? Nice to see. Nicely, you should have seen all the things I brought up here. Luckily, Fallon was able to get some movers to help me move the boxes. How oh, nice of her. Um, is this, this is a new desk? Yeah, Fallon insisted. Honestly, I just need a workspace where I can do some work and research my new book. Oh, what's, what's the book about? So I'm writing something on Donald Trump. Donald Trump? That's in, that story has been done in the media for decades now. I mean, no offense, doesn't that story pretty much tell itself? What do you mean? I mean, everyone knows that he started out in his father's Brooklyn office brokering deals. Yes. Then he spearheaded the restoration project for Grand Central Terminal, and then on to the Plaza Hotel project. So. I mean, what can you tell us, the public, that we already don't know? Well, for one, there's always more to be covered. And besides, I'm not starting from the beginning. I'm starting from the early 90s to present time. And how long is this book going to take? Just a few months, but it's fine. My deadline's actually not up until spring. And after it's done, then what? I'm just going to go back to freelance journalism. Here? Is there something you want to say to me? I'm just trying to figure out are you making this your permanent office? Yes, I am. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Is there a problem with me being here? No, no problem. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. I mean, with all those office spaces open downtown, why here? Well, Fallon offered. Initially, I turned it down just to avoid situations like this. And how long did it take for her to change your mind? Are you trying to say that I'm trying to freeload off of your sister? You said it, I did. Listen to bro. You don't know me, but I'm not gonna sit here and let you talk to me like I'm trying to have some sort of hidden agenda with your sister. I'm just saying it sounds a little too convenient. First, you show up at my family's house looking for a story. Now you're dating Fallon. Then you move to Easton and now you're here in this office. Looks like you're taking a little play out of Clint Saunders' playbook to me. Now you're comparing me to Clint Saunders? I, you know what, just give me a break, okay? I mean, looks like you got the blueprint down pat, even down to the wandering eye. Is that what this is about? Raven? Raven, my sister, your move, you in this office, pick one. She kissed me. And she lied to your sister. Okay, that's your story. That's the truth. I was the sober one. She was so drunk she couldn't even stand. I just tried to help her. Oh, so let me get that. That makes you, what, her knight in shining armor? So I take it you don't believe me? I'm just saying there's three sides to every story. Yours, hers, and somewhere in there's the truth. Well, that's fine. Because Fallon believes me. 
Fallon's a little too trusting, too soon. Well, you know what? She has someone to trust in, and I love her. Well, for her sake, I hope you do. Because if you hurt my sister, you'd be answering to me. Do we have that clear? Is that all? For now. I'll let you get back to that little book. Crazy, right? Really? Can I speak to you for a minute? Actually, I really have to go to I won't take too much of your time, up, I promise. To be honest, I'm like super late. <laughs> I'm sorry. And what do you know about being honest? Excuse me? Just a question. It was quite rude. I'm just being real. What up, man? I gotta go. If you have nothing to hide, then it shouldn't bother you. What do you want? So what do you want with Fallon's boyfriend? Not this again. Look, he came on to me, he kissed me. Like, why does everybody continue to blame me? You play the victim very well. But I see right through you. I am the victim. And you need to tell your boss that if she continues to harass me, she'll regret it. So this is the role you want? That innocent little persona that you put on was just an act. Oh. And Fallon is just a sweet, old, innocent, old-ass bitch, huh? See, she got you wrapped around her finger. Fallon can take care of herself just fine. I'm sure. I want some answers. Rob, get out of my way, okay? Oh, this is what you want to play? I'll scream bloody murder in this fucking place and have a cops here in minutes. Do it. Matter of fact, roll out. I'll scream with you. Dare me. Do it. But just know when you do scream, the cops will arrive. And they'll be asking questions. Let me guess, you've been arrested plenty of many times, huh? No. Have you? Raven Daniels. That's your name, right? We know this. You sure about that? I'm quite sure. And let me tell you something. Matter of fact, it's none of your damn business anyway. Gotta go. Listen, you may have fooled Jabril, but I see the truth. And what is that? You tell me. Rob, you're a fucking jerk. <laughs> is it D.C. or Florida? Refresh my memory again. You know what? Get a fucking life and stay out of mine. you so upset? Your brother. My brother? Do you know he barged into my office today, asking me a bunch of ridiculous questions? Fallon, this man's got a lot of nerve, and he really doesn't even know me. What exactly did he say to you? Was he asking you questions about Raven? Not right away, but honestly, I felt like I was being interrogated for something that I didn't even do. And this man has it in his head that I'm a carbon copy of Clint. Clint? <laughs> Jabril has so much nerve. He doesn't even know you. He hasn't taken the time to even get to know you. Yeah, well, he thinks that I conned you out of this office here at Davenport Industries. Jabril needs to mind his business when it comes to my business here at Davenport Industries. If he want to interrogate somebody, he needs to interrogate that slut he hired as an assistant. Didn't you tell him to fire her? I did. But Jabril wanted to be diplomatic and tell me that he's not going to get rid of her. It was a total waste of time for me to go down there and talk to him. I don't know why I even bothered. That's insane. I can't believe he didn't even believe you. Maybe this position is going to his head. But I'll tell you one thing. Stevie Wonder can see that Raven is trouble. I don't know why Jabril can't. That's insane. You guys are brother and sister. I, I was hoping you'd be able to get through to him about it. Well, I wasn't. And this is the reason why I don't trust him. And Winston is the only man that I'll ever trust. What about your dad? No. I can't trust my father for the simple fact that he chose Catherine and Jabril over me. Winston never put anybody before me. Yeah, Winston does seem like a stand-up guy. He is. And this is the reason why I trust Winston with my life. And I know that's a big statement. But I do. Well, hopefully one day I can be added to that list. 
because um, I'm going to be here for you. You promise? I promise. Okay. Hey. Oh, you no. got everything with you? Yes. Thank you for grabbing me a change of clothes from oh, home. Oh, no problem. Don't worry about uh, it. This last minute trip. Ah. Uh, no. But before we go, I don't want to make you seem uncomfortable or anything, but it was brought to my attention that you and Clayton were intimate. I knew it was going to get to this. I'm really sorry about that. It just happened that, I don't know, one time you just got a little touchy-feely. So when did, when did, how did this happen? It was one night, we were both out. He offered to take me home and we walked up to my door. I gave him a hug, you know, thanking him for taking me home. And he gave me a kiss. I pushed him back, but I don't know what happened or got, what got into him. So what happened after that? Nothing. He apologized, he walked off, and I went inside. <sighs> okay, because normally I don't get involved in, you know, business place relationships, but you know that's my sister's boyfriend. Is there anything going on with the two of you? Is there anything she needs to worry about? Not at all. Clayton and I are just good friends. <sighs> he just happened to help me that night. Maybe something just got into him. There's nothing to worry about. But this won't, you know, lead me to getting written up, is it? Nah, you, you won't get written up. This is, this is, I'm just gonna tell you, I need you to stay far away from Clayton as possible, okay? I don't I need any of that just bubbling over into business hours. I understand. I promise, I'll stay far away from him. And I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to, you know, corrupt you or get you into this mess. <sighs> All right, we'll talk about it a little bit more when I get back. Come on, we gotta, I gotta catch this flight. All right. Thanks for not judging me about the situation. Nah, that's good. We'll just, you know, just stay away from it. I will. All right. Fucking shit I've done for that plate. What? Yes, no warning, no notice. You know nothing. Okay, slow down. Tell me what happened. Why don't you baby me right now? Then calm the fuck down. Calm down? Did you know what the fuck this means? That means I don't have health insurance anymore. It doesn't matter. You can get Medicaid. What? I don't want no fucking Medicaid. I don't want no handouts. But I don't know what to tell you. Of course you don't. You never know what the fuck to say when the time is right. And what that's supposed to mean? You didn't defend me when Fallon slapped me. I haven't spoken to Fallon yet, but I'm sure she's going to apologize. Apologize? I don't need no fucking apology. I don't want it. It means nothing. You know, for once, you need to make a decision. Is it me or her? So you want me to quit my job? If that's what the fuck it takes for you to make a decision. I'm not quitting my job. Oh, so you're shooting that bitch over me again. As usual. So you want me out of a job? If that's what it takes to save our relationship. Look, if you don't make a decision, I'm going to make it for us. Which is it going to be? I'm not understanding you right now. What don't you understand? What the fuck do I have to do to make you understand me? When I got to take off my clothes for you, bro. Derek. I have to seduce you. Derek. Ask for sex for you. What the is this the only fucking way to get to you? Okay. One minute you're angry. And then next you all in my face. This is what you want. It's always what no, you want. No, Derek. I'm not in the mood. Let me seduce you. Have sex. I'm with not you. in the mood. I don't want to hear shit else. I want to fuck. In the mood. Oh, what's wrong now? Is she used to this? Was it a problem when they were paying you? When they were what? When they were paying you. When they were Derek. Derek, just.
Look, you told me this would be a piece of cake. But I think the bitch is on to me. Yeah, I'm sure. She got somebody doing a background check. But I hope they don't find nothing out. You told me this would be easy. No, I ain't get what you need yet. Let me tell you something, okay? This better be worth the payout. All right, just know, I'ma hold my end of the deal. You just make sure you hold the end of yours. All right, we'll see about that. Watch out for my calls. Don't make me call your ass twice. Thank you for being my eyes and ears why I'm not here. Listen, you just have to follow my lead. No one knows anything, trust me. I'm not gonna keep, look, just, just listen to me. No one knows anything. Right, just continue to be how you have been being and everything will be fine, all right? All right, well, I'm gonna go now. Okay, have a good one, bye. Uh-huh. Make yourself comfortable. Ah. Give me a question. <laughs> ah. Glad you called me to finally come over and see it. Well, I'm happy you were actually in town and was able to make it at such short notice. Yes. Speaking of calls, I've been trying to call my father all day. Have you spoke to him? I just want to run some things past him before this quarter of the meeting. I actually did speak to him. He's in Denver on business. Denver? What's going on in Denver? You know your dad. A man less on words and big on action. He actually has some sick scheme for me to meet him in Aspen after he's done. Oh. Baby, no. <laughs> the slopes are great at this time of the year. I'll say. How how they ever crack his face if you come with me? <laughs> oh, I don't think he'd be ready for that. I'm not even ready for that. Although I need a vacation. Um, I just took some personal time at work, so I need to be there as much as I can right now. Is everything okay? Okay, much better now. I actually finally went to go meet my birth mom. Wow, that's awesome. How did that go? Interesting to say the least, but that's another thing I need to talk to him about. I need to run some things. Just now coordinate some notes between the two of them. Well, Barry, did you tell me a lot of interesting stories about your mom? Just tread lightly getting that information from you. You know how difficult it can be. Yeah, proceed with caution. Uh, speaking of difficult, um, why did I have to bring these documents up here to you? Why aren't you coming to me? Well, I spoke to your dad and he felt it was best that I didn't come to the meeting. You know how when me and Fallon are under one roof, it's like <sighs> oil and water. You just don't okay. mix. Seriously? And we go to work. You don't need to get passes. I sat and I kind of thought about it myself and I'm like, do I really want to never square off with this girl? I mean, I'm just sick. Alright, so if we if we look at the more recent numbers, we are up two percent from last quarter, which is great. Because awesome. we were pulling at straws here. Um so next quarter, I think we could pull off at least five to ten. Easy. I'm impressed, Mr. CEO. You should be impressed with everything. You're always trying to turn my brother against me. Fallon, come on. We're just going over the numbers from last quarter. She's not out to get you. Don't just, be so you can say anything to protect that sheet of Come on, and you, you know, you know the team. Don't even bother. You know that this trash <laughs> is unreasonable. Careful, cat. You keep scratching and you may lose your claw. Let me tell you something. Come on, let me tell you. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on
trash that, that you have around you. We were just sitting down five seconds ago reasonably. Let's talk. I'm just sick of this I'm bitch. I'm the trash, but she's up in my face. Right, let's talk. I'm sick of you. That's why you have a big mouth. And you can't You're all bored with no one. Come on, Come on. Listen. Listen. Come on, come on, bitch. Okay. Okay. You okay? I lost you for a minute. <laughs> it's just so frustrating. I mean, me and this girl, were, we, were, we were friends at the time, and to believe that she and I can't even be under the same roof together. I mean, I'm so tired of the back and forth, and who can outdo who, and this competition thing. I'm, I'm an adult. I, I hate going through this for her. It's the song and dance is getting very old, and I'm I'm tired of being a referee between the two of you. So if you really just don't want to be there, I'm not going to force you. I think it's best that you attend alone, but just keep me in the loop. That's all. I'll keep you in the loop, all right. Speaking of update, so I just got some intel that she tried to cut me out of a deal in Annapolis, and here's a ice on the cake. She was going to forge my signatures on the document. Forgery now. That's an all new loaf of Valen. Does she know that's illegal? I don't think she understands that at all. She knows she thinks she's above the law and everything. Somebody really needs to bring her down to size. Look, I'm just trying to like her and I'm keep all my projects to myself until she needs to know. Yes. Lest she know the better off she is mm -hmm. and things are. Right. Because I'm not dealing with her right now. It's a mess, but that's good. Have you got a chance to speak to Claudia? Running around the city? I try to come sneak up on her, but uh, our party girl is off in Miami. You got <laughs> Claudia wanting to be this big party girl. Then you got Fallon wanting to be the baddest, just the biggest bitch. It's like <sighs> the two extremes between the two. I mean, sometimes it's so want to lighter now. How's you and your honey? We are good. Uh, he actually went with me to go see my birth mom. Okay. So, you know, it was good. He was there. He was the the middleman between the two because I was, you know, on ten. So he was keeping me. Well, he's <laughs> always the combo with you. I think that that's where you guys definitely make a great combo. Yeah. So we're working things out. He does here, don't he? Yes. And I need to connect you two. We need to finally set this up. I need hair in Aspen. Oh, gosh, here we go. I we we are not coming to Aspen. We just got that. <laughs> okay, you can't uh, you can't be mad at me for trying. <laughs> you have a poor woman or a mess. Okay. I'm a mess. Well, oh, spe oh. speaking of mess, I'm a mess. Let me get prepared for dinner. We're going to Philly. <laughs> You've been here? Yes. All right. Let's let me go. get let me get ready. <laughs> Shut up a little. I'll be back at around ten. <laughs> This ugly ass attitude. You need to change all of that. But I don't have time for this right now. Goodbye. Well, obviously, you need to make time. Is this a good place to eat? Yes. Obviously, your ass is crazy. Don't ever touch me like that again, okay? Fuck. Maybe oh, that could happen. You tested me, huh? <laughs> nice to meet you too, little lady. <laughs> being here. I mean, sometimes I just get so lonely. Your dad is always going on business. I gotta make sure I come up more often. Please, please. Oh, God. I am starving. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to maybe get a kill of martini, too. Uh, yes, drinks. <laughs> uh. Ah, it's coming along well. 
Well, thank you. I can't wait until my bag gets here. Where'd you get it from? Ah, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> fancy girl, fancy things. I already know. Uh, so what are you doing so early? I wasn't expecting you to later. Well, when you have great news, sometimes it can't wait. Hmm. And it's about Clint. Is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> Ideally, that would be great. I'm just kidding. But no. I actually haven't found him yet. But that has not deterred me. I mean, it's just like, it's like he's falling off the face of the earth. I don't get it. Well, that would be too good to be true. And if he's not dead, what kind of good news do you have? Ah, you are free to divorce the scumbag. What? Yes. <laughs> How? I thought I had to wait and get, get it done on some type of clause of abandonment. Something that like that. That was the plan, yes. So? But I have a new one. Okay, so I have a contact down in the Dominican Republic that can speed up the process on the divorce. How are you going to do that? Well, my contact name is Luis, and he's very good friends with the judge down there. The mm -hmm. judge can get us through all the red tape that we will go through in normal proceedings. Now, all you have to do, send your original marriage certificate, I'll sign on behalf of Clint. Simple as that. This seems too good to be true, but I don't know. I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> you always know your way around a closed door. <laughs> I love you for that. Of course. Now, so. come over here and give me a hug. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Winston. Of course. <laughs> so. Following Elizabeth Davenport, you, my friend, are entering into a new chapter of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. I mean, you know what? We need to celebrate. We do. And I know just when and where. Ah, let me guess. Somebody has a big company gala coming up. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> It'll be perfect. All my friends will be there. Yeah, I'm going to turn agree. it out. I agree. It'll be a nice to remember. It will be. Now, speaking of things to remember, uh, we have more pressing issues to get to. Hmm. What's going on? Well, I went in Jabril's office to okay. talk to him mm -hmm. and got the surprise of a lifetime. Jabril knew about the closing of the, the company thing yeah. in Annapolis. Yeah. He said he closed on it and signed off on it. What? This, that's impossible. Well, it's not impossible because he closed on it. So therefore, only me, you, and Ricardo knew about it. So I'm baffled. Well, you answered your question. Ricardo. So maybe at some point he mentioned it to the wrong person or slipped uh -uh, up. Uh -uh. Ricardo's not like that. Ricardo is very trustworthy. He's loyal. I'm not worried about that. I am taken back. I don't know how he found out. Well, listen, if you trust Ricardo so much, then who? That's what I need you to find out for me. Well, looks like the golden child is starting to show his true colors. <laughs> You should have saw the smug look on his face, knowing that he's going to get credit for my deal. Once again, he gets credit for what I've done. That deal was mine, Winston. Honestly, this has become plain unfair. I mean, you think Kat's behind this? No, oh, her plastic ass probably is behind it. Who knows? I don't trust her. I'm too busy trying to get one bitch out of the office. I don't need another one swarming around in my damn territory. Wait a minute. Who's the other thorn in your side? Raven. She made a play for Clayton. <laughs> Raven? A play? She kissed Clayton, tried to say Clayton kissed her, but I knew it was the other way around. She'll open her legs oh, to no, anything no, no, with no, a no, dick. No, no. Unacceptable. What do you want me to do about it? Don't worry about it. I got Rob handling everything. Rob? Rob is not qualified to do this job. You don't send a boy to do a man's work. Winston, if I didn't know any better, I would think you were threatened. You have nothing to worry about. I'm not threatened by Rob. Rob can't begin to compare to me. <laughs> well, funny thing is he found out a lot of information that happened to be very helpful when it comes to Raven. Oh, and what did Mr. Davis find out? Well, first thing, she lied about where she went to school. She lied about where she's from. She's done a lot about her name. Who the fuck else knows what the hell else she lied about? But every, all I know is she lied about a lot of things. And he found that out. You know what? I was having a conversation with Raven about a week ago. Mm -hmm. I mentioned to her that I knew a professor in her department at HU. Mm -hmm. She immediately got very flustered. What? Yeah. Now, I mean, at the time, I didn't think anything of it. Mm -mm -mm. But now looking back on it, I believe that she was lying about it. 
Now, I don't know if she's just some overly ambitious young girl who's gotten in over her head or... No. No, she's not over ambitious. No? She thinks she's slick. She's up to something and Rob is going to find out. I'm going to sit back and wait because he's coming with the information. Hmm. Well, if your driver isn't able to find the information you need, I'll be here. It'll be fine. You just worry about Jabril and get me that damn divorce, please. All right. I hope you don't regret this. I'm not. I know you got my back. All right, boo. Well, I got to get out of here. Do your business. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Keep calm. I'm going to try. No. And before you ask, the answer is no to. <laughs> but I'm sure you are. No, I don't want you to buy me a drink. I could buy my own. And no, you can't get my number. I hate to bust your bubble, but you're not my type. Barbara. Oh. Well, I just want a drink and not to be bothered with you. Hi. Hi. Can I please get a white wine? Sure. Can you need a Grigio? Okay. Thank you. If you want some privacy, there is a spot around the corner. Nobody really goes there. Let me guess, you're a regular. Actually, no. Do you mind me asking why? My boyfriend and my ex-boyfriend used to work here. Let me guess. He cheated on you, huh? He's a piece of trash. He was too good for me when he was three. Last man that cheated on me? Let's regret it. Oh, I know he does too. I mean, that was just way too good. Yeah. He looked up with a bad I thought so. At least someone I know had a happy ending. What about you? Oh, there's a guy. Thank you. Oh, he's sweet. He's handsome. But it's complicated. Sorry to hear that. Oh, don't be. <laughs> It'll all work out in the end. He's like the best thing that happened to me since I moved to Easton. Oh, you're visiting. Break you to Easton, though. Um, <clears throat> school? Yeah, I go to the university down the block. Okay, well, are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, I mean, Easton has its moments, but the people here are pretty cool. Well, some advice. Be careful. Okay. It's a lot of work and sheep. Wolves and sheep clothing around here. I think I've already met a wolf. But I ain't worried about him. <laughs> you still watch your back. Don't worry. The city will be too loud. <laughs> Mama's got it handled. <laughs> Cheers. I know. I've been trying to call you. You've been sending my calls to voicemail. Well, I really didn't know how or what to say to you. Well, I wanted to apologize for slapping Derek. Yeah, Derek told me. That was totally uncalled for. It, it, it really wasn't uncalled for because he was being very disrespectful. And I don't, I don't take disrespect well, But Robert. you already know what he's been going through. I explained that to you. You're right. I do know. Like, it just took me by surprise, and I wanted to apologize. That's why I kept calling you. What's wrong? You, you know, really well, we, we, we really just had this huge fight, disagreement over you. Over me? Over you. About our relationship. Never see, Robert. What about? Like, why me? Well, basically, he doesn't want me to work with you anymore. Why? Because he doesn't think you're a good fit. You working for me pays his bills. Uh, that was inappropriate. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm saying, why not? Because he... He believes you're an evil woman, basically. 
why is this? Why does he dislike me so much? Then she want to get me it. in trouble, and then on top of that, when you smacked him, that didn't make the situation even better. Listen, I've never done anything to Derek. I feel sorry for him. I just want to help him. I'm extending an, an olive branch, and he just keep pushing me away. Well, I personally believe you deserve to give him an apology. I believe I deserve. I owe him an apology as well, but I believe he owes me one too because. I've never done anything to him, Rob. Never. But I explained to you, I don't understand why you deserve an apology. When I explained to you what he's been going through. Okay, so if you were in the hallway that day and you heard me say, you know, I hope you get better, Rob told me what you were going through, I was very sincere and genuine. He snapped on me, straight off the rip, called me a bitch and everything. It was unexpected. So I deserve an apology for that. But you know what? Because he's going through chemo, I'm going to suck it up, I'm going to be the bigger person and apologize to him. Don't even worry about the apology to me. I'm okay. I really think that you guys have to come to some mutual ground to try to work something out. Because he wants me to leave the job. I don't want to stop working for you. I enjoy working for you. and I love the opportunity that you provide me. But in order for me to have a successful relationship with this man, something has to work out. I'm willing to meet up with him and talk with him and apologize. I'll do anything for you. You know that. So, think you're going to be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. I just have to, I guess, see how he feels. I explained that you're going to apologize. And Wait a minute. You told him that I was going to apologize before I told you I was going to apologize? No, I said I'm going to explain to him that you are <laughs> going to apologize. <laughs> okay. You got that. I'll do it. Anything for you. I appreciate that. So you want to stay and work out with me? I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing some yoga. Well, trying to anyway, Jess. Okay. Wearing me out. Yeah, I'll watch. <sighs> okay. You need some help? Yeah, I'm probably getting up off this floor, but no. I'm going to take this ball. But anyway, I hope things work out. You need to call them. Oh, well, I appreciate this, too. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. I'm going to go upstairs and make me something to drink. <laughs> okay. Um, come in. This won't take too long. Come in. Hey, what you going to say there? I'm sorry. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, shoes. You know the drill. You know. I like that shirt on you. Shut up. Come on, let's go upstairs. Oh, upstairs. I'm with that. <sighs> well, this is a nice package to come home to. Yeah, we'll sneak up, make sure I'm not creeping in here with nobody. <clears throat> when I said I was. Coming home to pack some clothes to come over, I didn't think I needed an escort. Oh, you didn't know I was your bodyguard too? Is that so? Yeah, I was in the area, so I figured you might need a full detail to my police. What up, your bro? Okay, serious talk. I was trying to catch you before you came over because, um, seeing as though we have a house guest, and I kind of don't know how you're going to react to what I have to tell you. React to... I saw Derek today. Okay, and go on. So it wasn't the first time I seen him. I kind of thought he was stalking me or something, I don't know. But I seen him right before we left on our trip. And when I seen him that time, he was like, oh, him and Robert together, and they're happy. Okay, and then they've been together. What does that have to do with you? Exactly. I don't know. I guess he thought I was supposed to care, but I don't. I actually thought them being together would keep them away from us. Or so I thought. So you thought, what would make you think otherwise? So today when I seen him. I was trying to get some coffee before work. And um, he comes up to me and he's like, oh, you still have feelings for me. And then 
He tries to kiss me. He what? Look, he tried to kiss me. Calm down. I put him in his place. What would make him think he could do that, Jabril? I don't fucking know. Yeah, right, Jabril. I just started trusting you again. Please don't have me out here looking like no damn fool. Look, I promise you, this is why I came and told you right away. Look, no matter how insignificant it was, I know, given the past circumstance, I need to come and just put on a table real quick. So what happened next? Look, I pushed him off me and I walked away. I wasn't going to sit there and entertain him anymore. You don't have anything to worry about. Well, for your sake, I bet not. But for him, I'm, I'm going to be addressing the issue real quick. No, listen, I took care of it. I don't need you to do anything. No, maybe he needs to hear from me that you don't want him. And if he can't control himself, he needs to stay the fuck away from you. Listen, I just think he's not thinking right. So now you're defending him. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Saying what, Jabril? He kind of told me he has leukemia. Um, and you uh, believe him? I don't know. Who's going to lie about something like that? I mean, health is nothing to play with. Listen, uh, fuck his leukemia. Uh, some interesting decor you have in here. You know, I'm kind of surprised that you called me at such a late hour. Usually don't take any business calls after nine o'clock. But uh, for you, I can always make an exception. <laughs> Look, so I've been thinking a lot about what you said the other night and if the offer still stands, mm -hmm. I accept. But we're gonna play by my rules. And what exactly does that mean? So once I buy the company back, it needs to be written that I'm the sole owner of Banks Designs. No stipulations, no fine print, no loopholes, nothing. And I'll get my lawyers to, you know, draw up the papers. Ashton, that is so unnecessary. For what? What do you think, I'm still after you? You think that this is some plan against Ashton? Look, I don't trust anybody. And this is just something to cover my ass. Something that I should have done in the first place. You know what your problem is? Oh, so now I have a problem. Yeah, you do. Your problem is that you put all your trust in all the wrong men. And then the ones who actually have your best interest at heart, you ignore. Oh, and you do? See, you're nothing different from Clint. I mean, you both are going behind Fallon's back. Are you seriously going to sit here after everything and compare me to that piece of shit? Really? From where I'm standing, you two are the same person. And from where I'm standing, you are nothing to Clint but a sex toy. Something to go fuck when his wife wouldn't give him any. He's really got you fooled, though. <laughs> um, see, that, see, that's a lie because... Look, Clint cared about me. <laughs> Clint cared about you. Clint cared about me. Can I tell you something, Ashton? Clint didn't give a fuck about you. Clint left you in your darkest hour. Who helped? I came and picked up the pieces. I helped you put your life back together. Where's Clint now? See, see, that's the thing I don't get about you, Winston. On one side, you try to act like you're helping me. And then on the other, you're saying you're bullying me. Look, pick a side so I can know who you really are. You wanna know who I really am, huh? You wanna know who I really am, asking you could not handle the truth about who I really am. You're just another egotistical asshole in a suit. Look, do we have a deal or not? So, are you not even gonna mention the kiss that we shared the other night. 
look, look, that was a huge mistake, and it will never happen again. Ashton, you don't even mean it. Because if you did, I wouldn't be here right now. Look, this is business. It's business. This, all of this is business. It's business. That kiss was business. The way you look at me is business. I can see you have eyes for me. Mm. You know what, Winston? That's what you want. Mm -hmm. This old cat and mouse game. Yeah. It's just another one of your little sick pleasures. And you seem like a very willing participant. <laughs> but you haven't caught me yet. You know what? Who says I even want to catch you? Mm. Who says that? Who says you're even man enough for me? Oh, really? <laughs> Are you teasing me now? That don't give him a right to go in and go do as he please. And I agree. That's what I'm telling you is not going to happen again. Well, for his sake, it better not happen again. I hope that you're telling me everything, Jabril. I promise you I am. Look, maybe I should stay home alone tonight. It's been a long day and a lot on my mind, and this ain't making it no better. Just let Come me just sort on. this out. Don't, don't shut me out now. We good. And I want to keep it that way. I just need to sort this out. Fuck. Okay.
surprise, Diggy boy. Look. What's wrong, Diggy? You look like you fool folks. No? What did you think you were going to huh? Derek, now is that any way to speak to me if you shot me five times, huh? Answer me, Derek. How is your wife? Don't worry about that. We got some unfinished business to take care of, Derek. You just fucking died. My time wasn't up, but yours is. Derek, I should snap your neck right now. I'll let you walk around free long enough, Derek. And I think it's definitely time I can land. I don't you shit! It was self-defense and I can fucking prove it. Really? You can prove it. If it was self-defense, Derek, why do you come for it? I mean, you let Ashton rot in that jail all that time. And you didn't say nothing. That's my best friend. <sighs> you made me wait all this time. So was it worth the wait? Hell yeah, but boy, we could have been doing that. No, we still have to talk about some things like business. Mm -hmm. But this was an extra treat. Mm -hmm. Made my night. <laughs> you know, you gotta call me over in the middle of the night a little bit more often. <laughs> gotta have some other paperwork you need handled. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I'm really glad this happened, actually. I'm. Um... Don't speak yet. You will be glad that this happened. Just wait on it. All right, I'll take that. Go ahead. I'm tired. Wait. Pour me out. You're not ready for round two? <laughs> you know what? Give me five minutes of Pepsi and a cigarette and I will be yours. <laughs> <sighs> How about three minutes? I'll take it. All right. I don't know, Derek. See like you got something to hide to me, friend. No? Fuck with me, Derek. What you gonna do? Huh? Now look, your little boyfriend, he works real close with Fallon, right? I need some information. And you're gonna help me get it. Don't fucking help me. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life behind fucking bars before I help you. You don't mean that shit, Derek. That's right. I'm talking about the fuck with you. have got everything. Everything to lose, Derek. You know how much time a person gets to attempt to murder in this state? Or you'll wake up one day and your whole fucking life will be over. I'm fucking scared of you. Really? You're talking a lot of shit, boy. Don't scare me. Uh, if I could do it all again, I would. Tell Derek, look at you. Look at you. Your fucking eyes are trembling. Your lips are quivering. You should be scared. Your ass belongs to me now, Derek. <laughs> Derek, I'm not giving you a choice. You're not going to tell a cop shit. You are going to hell. Help! Shut the fuck up. Your freedom is in my hands, Derek. And you're gonna help me whether you like it or not. Let's fuck with We gotta talk. <laughs>